In about two months, thousands of students and faculty will be coming back to the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill for the fall semester. But as the number of COVID-19 cases continues to rise, some students and professors have some concerns about safety. Tonight, we're digging deeper. CBS 17's Crystal Price is live at UNC. And Crystal, what is the university doing to help calm those concerns? Well, the university is taking a lot of different safety measures. One thing they're doing is they're thoroughly cleaning all of the dorms here on campus before students move back in August. Now, some other steps they are taking include starting classes in early August and ending classes just before Thanksgiving. This way, they can be ahead of a, of a potential second wave. Now, they are also requiring students and professors wear masks in class, and they are disinfecting athletic facilities in classrooms as well. Now, Kevin Guskowitz told 60 Minutes there were also some concerns that if they didn't reopen campus this fall, this could have hurt the university financially. We would have been challenged financially uh, to not reopen. We know that many students would have perhaps taken a gap year or uh, to defer their enrollment. But I want to emphasize that our decisions are based on creating that learning environment uh, for students where we know they can thrive and uh, building in all of these measures for, for safety. Now, just because they are reopening, some classes will still be done remotely. Students and professors are still in the dark about which classes will be done in person and which classes will be done remotely. We'll have more on their concerns tonight at 530. Reporting live in Chapel Hill, Crystal Price, CBS 17 News.